Queensland Museum, with the help of presenting partner QGC, brought from London Science Museum the exhibition Hadron Collider, Step Inside the World's Greatest Experiment, to Brisbane. The exhibition helps inspire and connect Queenslanders with the amazing story of engineering that led to the design and creation of the Large Hadron Collider at CERN in Switzerland. Alison Boyle, curator from the London Science Museum, is here to guide us through the exhibition Hadron Collider, Step Inside the World's Greatest Experiment. Creating the Hadron Collider exhibition was a challenge and some people might say that's a crazy idea but it was something at the Science Museum that we felt was an important topic to cover so we really wanted to find a way to bring that to museum audiences. So the LHC is the biggest particle physics experiment in the world today and it's the high point of what we can do with physics and engineering. But a lot has changed in particle physics over the last hundred years or so and it's still a relatively young discipline in scientific terms but it has changed beyond all recognition. And this object illustrates this very well. This is what you might consider the birth of the discipline. This delicate little glass tube is part of the apparatus used by J.J. Thompson in Cambridge in England in 1897. He and his assistant Ebenezer Everett were investigating cathode rays. Um, so these were phenomena that were known but not explained and scientists around Europe were trying to find explanations for what these were. And Thomson's apparatus uses electric and magnetic fields to bend these beams of cathode rays and they were able to ascertain that these rays were actually made up of particles, of negatively charged particles. They later became known as electrons and that was the first subatomic particle to be discovered. So the LHC needs to make particles go really, really, really fast. Now, why does it need to do that? Um, well, that's where an equation comes in, but it's a famous one. Einstein's famous E equals MC squared equation. And what Einstein essentially said was energy and mass are the same thing and they're related by speed. So if we have two particles colliding very, very quickly, when they collide, they will destroy each other. So all of that mass and the energy of the collision, we get new energy out of that collision. And from that energy, we get all kinds of new particles created in every collision. Now, to get interesting new particles and to get big particles like something like the Higgs boson, we need a lot of energy going into that collision, which means we need the particles to be going as fast as we can get them before they collide. To do that, we accelerate them in one part of the LHC ring in a system called the accelerating cavity. So bunches of particles arrive into the cavity, particles are charged, protons have a positive charge, and there's a negative electric field that will pull them through this cavity, so very high energy electric field. Then the field switches and we get a positive field and that will then push the particles through. And that happens a few times in the accelerating area to give them more energy as they go through. This will happen 11,000 times a second as the particles go through that bit of the ring and they'll get a kick each time they go. So by the time they have accelerated to full LHC speeds, they're going at 99.9999991% the speed of life. <laughs> 